In a shock move, the founding members of the Fiji First Party have resigned. Former Prime Minister Frank Bainimarama, ex-Attorney General Ayan Syed Kayum, and Party President Ratu Joti Satakala are among those who handed in their notice to the Registrar of Political Parties on Friday. Delphine Herbert asked Governance Professor Vijay Naidu from the University of the South Pacific what he thought of the resignations. It's a shocker, totally out of the blue. There were no indications that this might happen. Although from the readings that I've seen, they seem to have indicated their resignation to the supervisor of elections and the registrar of political parties last Friday. But this was not in the media and it doesn't, hasn't surfaced until today. What was your reaction to the people that did resign? You just mentioned there that there was really no indication that this was going to happen. That's right. Well, as I said, it's a shocking turn of events. And uh, there doesn't seem to be any sort of great logic behind what they have done. What is the future looking like for Fiji First? Because, I mean, they are supported by more than 40% of the Fijian population. That's right. Well, they're the second largest party in parliament, you know, with a difference of only three votes between the coalition and themselves. And if you broke up the coalition, then the Fiji First is the largest party in parliament with 26 seats. So, you know... um, it, 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 the mind boggles at uh, what the founding members have decided to do. Have you heard of what their reasoning was, and, and what do you make of, of that? Well, you know, I don't think the reasoning that uh, Aya Sayyid Kayum, the former secretary of the party, has sort of explained important enough to have uh, resigned over. So he's saying that according to the constitution, once the letter from the political party is sent to the speaker saying that members have not followed political party direction, then uh, the speaker should put in process within seven days uh, their the, uh, you know, confirmation that they have vacated their seat. So the speaker hasn't done that. And then, meanwhile, two other things have happened. The supervisor of elections uh, come registrar of political parties has decided that the constitution of the uh, Fiji First Party should be changed before uh, June 28. Otherwise, the party would be deregistered for the reason that they don't have a dispute resolution resolution process within the current constitution, which, you know, for me can be easily dealt with. But uh, beyond that, uh, you know, they're alleging uh, some kind of collusion between the speaker and the register of political parties. And uh, then they say that the Fiji Independent Commission on corruption has been mobilized to search the house of the acting secretary of the Fiji First Party, the member of parliament, uh, Fayaz Koya, and they went and searched his house. But even that is not sufficient reason. So individually in combination, the reasons being given are not uh, good enough for all these people to resign and mess, you know, and thereby, you know, uh, leaving the party in an absolute crisis. So, you know, what is the party? What message does this send to Fiji First supporters? Well, you know, it, it seems like the Fiji First supporters, uh, they'll mull over these and they may accept Kayum's message and sympathise with him and Fiji first. But I think a lot of people would be taken aback and also would be left with a sense of being let down by the Fiji first party. And that is reflected 
In the words of the chair of Dialogue Fiji, who said that this was the most inane kind of decision, which has serious implications for Fiji first, but beyond then, you know, without a strong opposition, it undermines the coalition government because both the minority parties in the coalition, namely the Fiji, uh, the National Federation Party, and the Social Democratic Party are actually weakened in terms of their leverage within the coalition government. RNZ Pacific has received confirmation from the Registrar of Political Parties that eight Fiji First members have issued letters of resignation.